Baruch Atu Adonai Elohim Elohim Asher Kedusha No Vitzvotza Vitzvano Al Tilas Yadayim Shalom. Tonight is Tu B'Shavat, literally the fifteenth of Shavat. It's the New Year of Trees. It's um, that's it, it's not really a biblical origin. Uh, it's basically for counting, uh, tithing of trees and uh, something called orla. It's, uh, you're not permitted to eat the fir- crops of the first three years of, uh, of a tree. And then the fourth year you take them all and you go to Jerusalem and you have a party with them. Um, it's become quite a festive day, and um, the idea is to eat fruits of the land of Israel, specifically uh, ones that are very sweet. Uh, people will often have um, a meal with others, have a little party. I've done it in the past. Um, this year, I don't know, I made a few, uh, I made an initiative that didn't pan out. But um, sometimes you just feel like uh, having some time to yourself, think things over. Uh, the day also has significance to me personally in that um, this is the 30th anniversary of my um, making Aliyah, moving to Israel. Um, according to the Jewish calendar, I arrived on the day before Tisha B'Av, and uh, it's actually February 5th on the Jewish calendar. I remember uh, going to the uh, home for new immigrants, and uh, they had the, the trees in the parking lot. Uh, the idea of planting trees on Tisha on, on Tuba Shabbat. Uh, and then in the evening, it would be about this time right now, they had a slideshow, it was a bit of a social gathering, where they showed uh, uh, various um, uh, trees and, pl- and plants of Israel. So um, I'm eating things that are basically Israeli. Uh, right now I'm going to have some hummus. It's very popular here. It's basically chickpeas. They mash it. You have it... Um, with uh, just on bread, I like to have it with a vegetable. Here, I'll hold it up and give you a close up of just what this looks like. Okay, there you go. And, um, it's a spread, spreads are very popular here. You could put it on bread or on matzah. And I often like to have it with a vegetable. It works nice as a dip with vegetables here. I put a little bit on the carrot. Now, part of the observance, or the popular observance, of Tuba Shavat is to have the, uh, the Zion Minim, the seven species. And there's seven species, fruits, shall we say, grains, products, grain, um, agricultural products that uh, Israel is being praised by in the Chumash. It's in the Parshish Eikhev, um, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 8, where it says it's a land of Chita, Saora, Chita is wheat, Saora is barley. Uh, people will often have a beer. Um, 
Then the next is a, it makes a, a good way to remember a mnemonic is guitar geffen, that's grapes, okay, and have some wine. Okay, now this is a Cabernet Sauvignon. I also have Shiraz here and um, Merlot. It's by Yisraeli, that's the, uh, the brand name. Uh, I think it's Yikveit Sion, the Tepperberg, that's the one. It's a very good wine, popular, popularly, popularly priced at around 25 shekels a bottle. It fluctuates their sales, sometimes it's a little bit more. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Ramon, that's pomegranates, I don't have one of them, but they do sell them. Um, at about this time of year, specifically for Tu B'Shavat. Then uh, Te'enim, those are figs. So I went out and I bought some figs. Show you some figs. Give you a little bit of a close up on this. There we go. Okay. Shemin Zeit. Now, Shemin Zeit is literally olive oil. So I have some olives here. Israeli olives. Here. Okay. And the last one is Davash. Now it literally means honey, or um, precisely, you could say that means syrup, uh, meaning that it has a thick consistency. Uh, and it's sweet, and the idea is that dates, okay, uh, are is the popular translation is that it's date honey, meaning syrup from dates. Now, what if, if the land is very rich, you, you'll get like uh, the juice of the uh, of a date will be very thick. Um, dates are popular as a um, as a dried fruit, and a lot of times um, the Arabs like it a lot. They'll chop them up and put water in it. I should say more precisely, uh, uh, like put it in a blender with water, some sugar. It's very sweet. It has the consistency of honey. Goes back to ancient times. It's very popular. So you'll have those as well here. Let me get some dates, but first let me show you. They sell things specifically for Tuba Shavat in this supermarket. Now here's one of them. Where what it is is it's a um, basically a package of the different popular dried fruits. Now what you've got here. Uh, this is sugared pineapple, apricots, prunes. Here are the dates. Okay, could get a better look from this side. There's your dates and your apricots and raisins. And it looks like in, in the corner here, let's see if I could get it nicely. Not coming across so well here, but they're actually red here. It's cranberries. Here's another one. Okay. And um, this one, it has a kiwi in it. And it also has nuts. The nuts are also very popular. They're popular in general here. Uh, at a... Um, Various types of celebrations where you have people together. They're, they're used inter like as a snack food, popular on uh, 
to Bishavat, they're especially good with a beer. Um, it's also popular to eat candied uh, esrog. Now, an esrog is uh, basically a, a, uh, a lemon. It's sour, uh, generally not eaten, but being that it's used for sukkahs, and it's considered uh, the most splendid of the fruits, people will, will, will candy them, they'll make them sugary, and then you'll have them on Tuba Shabbat as well. Um, it's like having the jellies when you get candies, as well as other candied fruits. Let me give you a nice look at this. Okay, let's see. And the, what you do is you cut the esrog basically into strips. Now let me show you an esrog. Give me a moment. Now this is This is my esrog. I've been saving it since Sukkot. But you can see how you cut it off in strips like that. And then it's very tasty. today's a good time to make comparisons between the wines. Now, the, the, the driest one is the Cabernet Sauvignon. A little bit on the light side. The Shiraz tends to be a bit more uh, thicker, and it's, it's kind of like a port wine. It's a little bit sweet as dry wines go. They're all, they're all of equal quality, I'd say. Uh, there's something in me that goes for the Cabernet Sauvignon. Maybe it's because it has a reputation for being sophisticated. I don't know. It tends to be lighter, also a dry wine, just not capturing it right now. Okay. One of the customs of Tubishvat, specifically the, uh, the Seder, is to say the Shira models. It's 15 Psalms. Uh, Starting with 120, I think, ending with 133 or 134. Uh, they, people will say them in order. People, it's, it's not a hard, fast custom. Um, well, I opened it up to Kuf Chavchei. Um, 125. Now this one's about Jerusalem. I'll, I'll read it and I'll translate it. Shir hamalos habotchim badonot kahartzion lo yamut lulam yeshev. Hey, a song of ascents. Those that trust in Hashem, they're like Mount Zion, that uh, they will not waver or fall. Forever they stand, they dwell. Okay, so you're talking about people who are very stable, 
Yerushalayim harim saviv la Jerusalem mountains surround you vadonoi saviv la mot me'atat varolon and Hashem surrounds His people from now until forever. So just like Jerusalem is surrounded by mountains, can't get at it, Hashem surrounds His people forever. Ki lo yanuach shevet harasha al gorot satikim that He will not permit or allow the rod of the rasha on the lot of the righteous. Laman lo yishlachu hatsatikim ba'avlasah yedehem in order that the tzatikim will not have to go along with um, with their av- av- it's a lushan of sin, abuse, Hetiva Aronoi Latovim, that uh, Hashem is good to good people, the Yerushim Belibosam, and those who are straight in their heart. Hamatatim, or Hamatim, a Kalkalosam Yolichem, as Aronoi Es Porle Avem, that um, the um, <coughs> the people will go astray and they go in all sorts of crooked and perverse paths. Hashem leads them for those that are uh, po'alei aven, the, the, the wrongdoers. In other words, Hashem lets, leads you in the path that you want to go in. And if you want to go bad, I'll help you with that as well. Shalom al Yisrael. But peace will be upon Israel. <clears throat> now I have two things. Uh, there's chocolate spread. I like. They both go very well on matzah. Now chocolate spread and strawberry jelly, strawberry jam. They both popular here. You just get them at the supermarket. I did not particularly see chocolate spread when I was in the United States, but it's 30 years. It's popular here. I'll give you a close-up of it. Okay, so this is the chocolate spread. Chocolade, it says. Okay, literally, my chocolate. And it has it in English as well. Hey, often these things are sold in Europe. Some of them are sold in the United States. Europe is, of course, much closer. And this is the uh, jam. This one is not written in, in English at all. So that's the jam. There you got your picture of your strawberry. Tot Sada, strawberry, kind of like the Shiraz now, it's, and it's a, has a bit of the taste of pork, not as sweet. But the bouquet is very similar. Get some of the strawberry jelly. The chocolate is much richer. Probably has more. Probably has more oil in it. Let's take a look at the nutritional content. So this has fat. It's uh, per hundred grams, thirty-nine point five grams. In this one, fat. 0.1 okay so that's considerably richer now this the strawberry is 286 calories per 100 grams oh the uh, chocolate is 584 so that has a lot more calories in it 
protein, well, it's a joke for these, but it's 1.1, and for this, it's 0 0.6. Kind of getting ready to start on the special fruits, although I usually don't have these jams and sweet things, but the other ones I bought specifically for Kuba Shavat. So I'll make a break and I'll say, Kuf Lamed Gemma, 133. There's actually 134 is the last one. Okay. This one has a famous line. Chiramalas le David, the song of the sense of David. Hine matovu umanaim, or hine matov umanaim, sheves achim gam yachad. Behold, how good and it is pleasant for brothers to be sitting also together. So in other words, it's saying it's good for brothers to sit together, even if they're not getting along, but it's even greater if they are sitting along, if they're unified. Kishemen hatov al harosh yodreid al hazakan, like good oil on the head, it goes down to the beard. It's The idea is that Oil is, shall we say, the flame above a person that comes from Hakadosh Borrako. Then it goes into his brain, that's the top of his head, and then it goes into his beard. It means that he's uh, becomes visible and it starts spreading out to other parts of the body. Zakan Aharon Shevro Yoreid Apimidosa, the beard of Aharon high priest, brother of Moshe, man of peace, that it uh, uh, goes according to his good character traits, or his character traits. It's com compared to Katal, Kermon, Yoreid al Sion, like the dew of Kermon, it's a mountain range in the north, very high, that it descends onto the mountains of Zion, the Temple Mount. Kisham Siva Adonai Es Habracha, because there, Mount Zion, Hashem commanded the bracha. That's where you get the bracha. Chayim Ad Haolam, life until forever, everlasting life. Okay, so let's see. Uh, the, you start with a date, because dates have priority in a bracha. It's, uh, it's based on the Pasuk I mentioned to you, that it's uh, very close to the, to the word uh, Eretz. But uh, actually, uh, in terms of Mizonos, say the cookies, you may not say a separate bracha on them. Some people do. It's a, it's a machlokis among poski, a discussion uh, or a debate among those who uh, rule on issues of Jewish law. I basically hold by the ones who say you don't say a bracha on it for dessert. Um, but it's not something I would get into an argument about. I just go along with whatever other people are doing at the time. But when I'm by myself, okay, I don't say it. So here is a, uh, a date. There you go. So, Let's see, uh, put it in front of this, you get a little bit of a better picture. Now you, you have to check these things for bugs now. Uh, bugs are often a problem in Israel, or they can be a big problem. What you'll do is you look at the outside and you'll see like the black spot with the little hole if, it, if it's there, okay? There's all the ways. That's the typical one, but it's like a 
a, a wormhole on any other um, fruit. Now it's good to open it up because the area around the seed, let me give you a good look at this, okay. Now this one is very nice. Okay, a moment there. Okay. Okay, you see how it's nice and white. Here's the seed there. Okay. And you don't have any like black spots. Or what you'll sometimes see is like black spots. Or maybe like webs or little white things crawling around. Uh, the white things are obviously bugs. The uh, if it's if it's gotten to the point where you've got um, got the webs, it's the equivalent of spider webs uh, made out of the bugs there. But you wouldn't want to eat it either. Uh, generally speaking. That would be considered as not kosher. The black spots are often some sort of infestation, or um, or the eggs. So uh, that you would not eat. You would just throw it out. Baruch atvarunoi Elohim v'kom borei priyaitz. And it's a good idea to check apricots as well. Now this one, thank God, is fine. Now apricots are typically pitted, uh, so they're easy to separate. You already have the, uh, it, it's already cut. Here you have it. Mm. Now if there is a bug in there, and sometimes they are, they're little, they're white, and they wiggle. The quality of the food here is not as good as it is in the States. It's very good, but you got to check for these things here. I'm looking at these raisins, so... Say a sheer of olives and in honor of the raisins. Now this one, it's uh, this is the one number um, 126. Said often before, say, Birchat on happy occasions and Shabbos, it talks about uh, coming back from the exile. Okay, uh, when Hashem returned the captivity of Zion, we were like dreamers, like in a dream. Then our, um, our mouths were filled with laughter and our uh, tongues with, uh, with joyous songs or joyous expressions. Was Yomru Vagwayim, Hidil Adonai Lassos Himela. says, then the nation said that Hashem has done great things with these. It's the idea that uh, the recognition of um, the great things that HaKadosh Borak has done in returning the... Uh, children of Israel to the land of Israel will be first recognized by uh, uh, the friends of the Jews among the nations. And it continues, He deal Adonai Lassos Ivano, Hainu Simekin, says God has done great things with us. There and we were happy. In other words, it's uh, the, the the joy first go uh, recognition first comes from the nations and then the Jews say, you know, they're right. Then it's a prayer. Shuva Adonai Es Shiva Senu Kav Fikim Ban Neged. God, please return our captives like uh, springs in the Neged. Uh, 
the idea of the Negev being a desert and that there are springs there, uh, very arid, but you do have oases and at times it rains and you'll get wadis uh, from the rivers. So this is some uh, encouragement for the people having a rough time of it. It says, those that sow with uh, tears, with a uh, joyous song, will the, the harvest. That the person who's traveling and he's crying because he's carrying a heavy bag of seed, Bo Yavo Vinrina, that he will certainly come with uh, with song no say almost carrying his sheaves. This is the candied pineapple. But this is a fig here. Um, now figs are often a problem with bugs. Um, you can't hold them too long. The assumption is that there's Bugs occur naturally in nature, and essentially you can hold on to uh, figs only a short time. The bugs basically, um, they lay their eggs on the surface, and if you wait too long in having them, it'll be like spider webs and little balls, tiny... And you'll you'll have some bugs uh, crawling around. It's not that nice. Uh, they are in fact very tasty. Uh, you have to check inside of them. Uh, sometimes you will find a bug in there. Or often what you but you have to also look at the surface. So I'll show you how it looks like when you open it. You can eat them fresh, they're very tasty, they are extremely delicate, uh, and they spoil very quickly. Uh, you can get them, pick them off the tree, they grow in a lot of places, and you'll see them falling, maybe it is stealing a little bit. Um, they are extremely sticky when they're fresh. coming up is the candied citron or restro. Now, that I have to eat on the plate. It really is very sticky. I have to wash my plate. Now, and you cut it up nicely. And now I'm getting ready to eat some of the estro, and I'll say a shiramalos, kuflamidala. That's a in praise of the people who sit and learn Torah. Shir Amalos, He ne barchu es Adonai kol abde Adonai hong ding beves Adonai beleilos. Shir Amalos, He behold, that HaKadosh Boruchu should bless all of the 
uh, servants of Hashem that they uh, are standing in the house of Hashem at, at, at night. The, the idea is that they're burning the midnight oil. Raise up your holy hands and bless Hashem. So he's calling out to the people who are learning. That ha- Hashem should bless you from Zion, he who made the heaven and the earth. Here we have a piece of the citron, Ezro. This one's kind of from the side. In the middle, you'll have um, all sorts of seeds. I have that as well. But you can see the difference. Uh, the best part is the, not the center, but shall we say like the donut ring. This part here. Right there and above, but it's all very tasty. Shiraz on this one. Now the Arizal made up a Seder for um, Tuba Shabbat where he said to have uh, Four cups of wine. I'm not doing it precisely. This is the the book that is uh, that is brought down. It has all different types of uh, of veg of uh, fruits and readings. It's very nice. I've never personally followed it that closely. Okay, now what looks good? Mm. I think I'm going to go for some of the nuts right now. Now with the nuts, I'm going to have some arak. Now arak is a very popular Middle Eastern beverage. This is a popular one here. Let me give you a close-up of it. It's a hard liquor, right? Let's see, this one is listed as 40% alcohol. And, I don't know, say, take a little bit of it. Finish the bottle. say a sheer mollus. Now, I've been saying the happy sheer mollus. Uh, in fact, the sheer mollus is, they capture a lot of the emotions, including some of the ones where you kind of feel sad or you kind of feel angry. Let's see, we're having something that's harif, spicy, strong. Uh, maybe I'll say something harif. Let's see. That one's hopeful. Ah, the first one's somewhat combative. 
This is 120. Shear Malos. El Adonoi with Sarasa Li Karasi Vyaneni. Song of Ascents to Hashem in my Tsar, my aggravation, my pain. Karasi, I called to you and you answered me. Adonoi Hatsila Napshim Misafat Sheker. God rescue me from a lying tongue. Yilashin Rumiya from a deceitful tongue, or lying lips and deceitful tongue. He's dealing with liars, phonies, guys who are very smooth. What what is it gonna get you? What 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 you what are you gonna get? Uh, lying tongue. So he's being he's addressing it to them. So he's calling the lying tongues or rimiya tricky tongues. This is what are you gonna get? Kitsegi Burshinunim Im Gachale Rasamim says that it's uh, the uh, the arrows of a mighty man that are sharpened im uh, coals from literally a broom tree, but it's, today we're not concerned about tree types so much, uh, certainly not the average person, but the idea is that these are, um, if you burn one of these, the wood from one of these trees, it burns a while. So uh, you can always get, you think that, you can all, you think the fire is out, or it's, it's, it sticks around a while. Oyali ki garti besha, shakanti im ahale kedar. Oyali, it's a groan that I lived in Meshech. Okay. Meshech is often considered the Slavs, and I have uh, dwelled among the Tents of Kedar, that's one for the Arabs, but uh, basically what he's talking about is two types of savages. Um, shall we say the equivalent of, um, on one hand, uh, the pogroms in Eastern Europe or um, the Palestine Liberation Organization, Hamas. Rabat Shachan na la nafshi im sone shalom. Says, uh, I, I have dwelt enough, or I've dwelt a long time, or lived a long time among those that hate peace. Ani shalom, the ki ad the beer he malum mil kaman. I am for peace, but whenever I speak, they are for war. So he's always having hassles over him. Because they always, uh, they're predators. So it comes down to, so let's have some Arak. And have some nuts. Is a filbert? And a peanut. It's not a peanut, it's actually a vegetable. It doesn't grow on the tree it kind, it grows on a vine. It's like peas. So I'll say a bore priyadama. Aru katwadu noi elohin with one bore priyadama. Good idea to check peanuts for bugs. Sometimes when you open them up, oh, here you got two of them. Yeah, you get an unpleasant surprise in the middle. These are pretty good. But the truth of the matter is, was when I first came here, I had all sorts of problems. 
It's nature of Israel. They're always cleaning up their act. Seems like the choice of the meal for wines is the Shiraz. Uh, the syrupy uh, flavor um, that it has more body seems to be pleasing, especially with these fruits. And tomorrow is also Tuba Shabbat. Tomorrow really is Tuba Shabbat. Today is Arab Tuba Shabbat. Now looking at the orange, that'll be a fitting end to the meal. Let me get a suitable share of olives. Oh, I think I'll take the longest one, that's Kuf Lamed Base, that's uh, 18 suki. Generally they're much, much shorter. Share of olives. Sukor Adonoi Ladavid, a song of a sense that uh, Hashem remembered David as Kol Unosam, and all of his uh, persecutions and aggravations. Kashir Nishbat Ladonoi Nadar Laber Yaakov, that he made an oath to Hashem, a promise. To the mighty one of Jacob. They say, Im Alek, El Ares, Yitzhawai, that I will not, so to speak, come into the, uh, the my house. I will not spread myself out on the couch. Im Atenshinetle, Nai, La Papai Tunuma, that I will not. So to speak, I mean, I'm just translating the ideas, not the words precisely. Okay, uh, sleep to my eyes and slumber to my eyelids. Ah, and some makom laronoi mishpenos lavir yakol, until I will find a place for Hashem, a a home for the mighty one of Jacob. This is the, the his promise to build the temple. Uh, fulfilled it by his son Solomon. He neshamanua the brasa, but sanuna besteya are. Behold, I have heard it in Ephrat city. I have found it in the uh, the fields of the forest. The mawat lemishkanostav. I will bring it to um, his dwelling place. Dishtachavet la dom ragua. And we will prostrate ourselves. Submit ourselves to the uh, your footstool. Arise, Hashem, go to the place that you'll uh, be at ease. Your final place, uh, place you'll make your permanent place. You in the aron, the closet of your strength, uh, meaning the the Ark of the Covenant. Okay. That your priests will dress in righteousness and uh, those who are devoted to you will sing joyously. For the sake of David, your servant, do not turn away from the face of your anointed. Nishpa Adonai le David, Hashem swore to David, Emes lo yashu bimenu. The truth, he will not go away from him, won't re repent, he won't renag, he can take the dika ashis le kesei la. From the uh, fruit of your stomach, I will place your uh, throne there. Uh, the idea is that um, he's promising that David is uh, he's going to father a dynasty. Im yishmaru v'nechem b'risi v'edosel zo alamadeh gam b'nechem adi ad yashvu l'kizlah. Says if they were your son will keep my bris the deal they made with Hashem. 
essentially that uh, the name of Hashem will be on them. They'll be known as Jews, as uh, people of religious religion, and they'll keep the Torah the way it should be. Uh, that my testimonies, they will, uh, I will teach them. The idea is that HaKadosh Baruch who has a, a message for the world, and uh, he's saying uh, he's going to teach them the message, and they have to give it to others. Also, their children, on forever and other, will will sit on the throne for you. In other words, it's, a, it's a contingent on the the his descendants keeping the Torah and living up to their obligations. In other words, really, um, it comes out that. Except for the descendants of David, nobody can sit on the throne. Okay, in the descendants of David, they're the. It's only if they properly keep the law. He Hashem has chosen Zion, meaning Mount Zion, Temple Mount. He desired to dwell there. Zos menus chasi adeiad. This is my resting place forever and ever. Po Ashiv Ki Ivisiya. There I will dwell because I have uh, I have desired it. Okay? So so to speak, that's what Hakadosh Baruch Hu is saying. Seida Berach Avarech. That it's uh, food. Uh, I will certainly bless. And that the people who are poor, it's poor people, I will satisfy with bread. The Kohaneka of Bish Yesha, and its priest, I will uh, dress in salvation. And those that are devoted to the Temple Mount, they will certainly sing happily. Sham Atzmir Karen Le David. There I will cause sprout the horn of David, meaning his status, his power, his beauty, all the things that a horn does for, for an animal. Arachti near Lemishikai. I have prepared a candle for my anointed. The idea of sight, but also the idea of remembrance. Oyuvav al bish boshet that his uh, enemies I will dress in, in embarrassment. In other words, the guys who oppose them will always have guilt feelings and hang-ups about it. While Allah sits these row, and on, on him his crown will sprout. Oh, I have an orange. So we'll have one last share of us, and then I'll say their katama zone. Okay, this is the one of faith and hope. Share share of malos. I say night el harim ayan yavos re. A song of ascent. I will lift up my eyes to the mountain. From where will my help help come? As we may madunoy om seishem arts. My help comes from Hashem, who made the heavens and the earth. Al yitin lamot raglecha, al yadun shamrecha. He will not let your foot stumble. The your your protector, your guard, does not does not slumber. He doesn't fall asleep. Hine lo yanum lo yishan shomir Yisrael. Behold. Uh, the, the the guard, or the protector, uh, the keeper of Israel does not 
slumber nor does he sleep. Adonai Shamecha, Adonai Tzilcha, Ayad Yiminecha, that Hashem is your protector and your keeper, Hashem is uh, your shadow uh, that is by your right hand. Yom Hashem is Shlom Yikecha, Yerech Malayla, that by day the uh, sun will not strike you, nor the moon by night. Adonai Yishmor, Hashem will guard you from all bad. He will guard your soul or your life. I don't know each word says, that Hashem will, will guard or protect uh, you when you go out and when you come back from now until forever. Okay, so thank you for giving me an opportunity. Uh, to share with you my Tuba Shabbat. Shalom, shalom.